Let's do this one. Interesting question. In a car race, car A beats car B by 45 kilometers. Car B beats car C by 50 kilometers. And car A beats car C by 90 kilometers. The distance in kilometers over which the race has been conducted is. Very interesting question. The summary is A beats B by 45 and A beats C by 90. And so let's assume the distance is x. When A beats B by 45, that means when A completes the race, B has done only x minus 45. A beats C by 90 kilometers, or when A completes the race, C has done only x minus 90. Right? The interesting thing here, we are told that B beats car C by 50 kilometers. That means when B completes the race, so we can't compare this state. B should have completed the race or when B finishes the whole thing, C would have done only x minus 50. Very interesting, it becomes a classic ratios question. The first context, when A does x, B does x minus 45, C does x minus 90. When B does x, then C does x minus 50. Right? Very simple, very, 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 the only thing we need to think about is ratios, nothing more than that. The ratio of distance covered between B to C is always the same. So x minus 45 by x minus 90 is x by x minus 50. Cross multiply, simplify if you are through. And so I'm going to do that. x minus 45 by x minus 90. x minus 45 by x minus 90 is equal to x by x minus 50. Cross multiply, we'll have x square minus 95x plus 45 into 50. I don't want to multiply this. This is 45 is equal to x square minus 90x. This goes off. Take this 95 that side. 45 into 50 is 95x minus 90x, which is 5x or x is 450 kilometers. A lot of these ratio questions just become races questions, just become ratio questions. And the distance traveled by A to distance traveled by B is always the same, no matter what the length of the race is. B to C, always the same. And so just translate to ratio, we're good to go. Gosh.